So if you're someone that wants to make money online using Alibaba.com, you've definitely clicked on the right video because I'm gonna be going through the top five things that you need to know when it comes to using Alibaba.com to start an online business. And the reason why I decided to make this video today is because I believe I'm one of the best people to speak on this topic. I was actually able to quit my full-time job, build an online business that enables me to travel around the world to various different amazing locations while still being able to bring in a source of income from that online business. So I'm sure I'm gonna be able to point you in the right direction. All right, so starting off with the first thing that you need to know when it comes to making money with Alibaba, which is that you need to understand exactly what it is. So a lot of people out there, including yourself maybe, is probably confused on exactly what Alibaba is and how exactly can you use it when it comes to starting up an online business. So for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a website. It's basically a directory filled with various different suppliers. Most people believe that the suppliers on Alibaba.com are only based in China when that isn't true. You're going to be able to find suppliers from all around the world, even the UK or the United States. But to be honest with you, majority of the suppliers on Alibaba are based in China. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing because when it comes to using suppliers in China, you're gonna be able to get the product for a lot cheaper, which means you're gonna be able to import the product into your country, add a markup on top of the price that you paid for it and make a profit. So that's all Alibaba is really. It's a website that you can go to to find suppliers based all around the world, specifically in China from there, you're going to be able to use it when it comes to buying inventory for your online business. And another reason why it's important for you to know exactly what Alibaba is and exactly how it works is because you are going to need a starting budget when it comes to you investing in the products that you're going to be buying in bulk. But I'm going to be explaining all of the little details that goes into the entire process as we move forward in this video. But moving on to the second thing that you need to know, which is that you need to study the platforms that you're going to sell on. So of course, buying products in bulk from Alibaba.com is just the first step. Step. The next step after that is that you need to figure out exactly where are you going to sell those products. And there's so many different platforms on the internet, there's so many different ways that you can sell products. But the three main platforms that I personally use to build up my e commerce business from zero to over $2 million is eBay, Amazon, and Shopify. In my opinion, I would say that these are the best platforms out there because, of course, Amazon is the number one most visited e commerce website in the entire world. eBay is the second most visited e commerce website in the entire world. And Shopify is the best platform when it comes to you wanting to build your own e-com store that people can go directly onto. But it's crucial to make sure that you study all of these different platforms, maybe decide on which one you're going to start off with first. I wouldn't recommend that a beginner picks all three of them and tries to build all three platforms at the same time because you're going to lose focus. It's going to be a little bit difficult, especially if you've never built an e-com business before. The way that I did it is that I initially started selling on eBay and I was able to grow my sales to around 20, 30, 40, thousand dollars every single month from there what i did is that i started selling on amazon and i built up that platform to over six figures and then from there i now started selling on shopify because i knew that it would be good for me to take a little bit more control over my e-com business and essentially build up my own platform so that's the way that i did it you don't necessarily need to do it that way if you don't want to if you believe that you can do all three at the same time then go ahead but this is just one of the tips that i want to give any beginner out there that's thinking about importing products from alibaba.com to sell on all of these different e-com platforms but moving on to the third step which is that you now need to decide which product are you going to sell so once you've made a decision on exactly which platform you're going to build up either ebay amazon or shopify the next step after that is that you need to do product research to make sure that the item that you found on alibaba is actually selling well on all three of these different platforms because if you're able to find a product on alibaba.com that is performing well on all three of them then this is going to make your job a little bit easier i would say that the mistake that a lot of beginners make is that they find a product that's doing well on let's say amazon but isn't maybe doing well on ebay or vice versa and because of that they're not able to scale up their e-com business on multiple different platforms at the same time so it's always good to make sure that if you are going to sell on multiple different channels at the same time you want to make sure that the product that you're finding on alibaba.com is performing well on all of them and when it comes to finding winning products there's so many different ways that you can do it but, but for example if i just jump onto alibaba.com one of the ways that you can find a winning product if you have no clue on what item you want to sell is by coming over here to where it says featured selections from here you're going to see these three different options but the one that you need to click on is top ranking 
Once you're on this page, you're then going to see all of these different products that you can start selling now that are performing well right now as well. But there's this product over here that is a poly mailing bag. If I just click into it just to get a better look. So as you can see, apparently Alibaba.com is saying that poly mailing bags just like this seem to be doing well right now. A lot of people are making a lot of money from them. So now that I've got an idea of a potential product that I could start selling myself, the next step after this is that I need to go over to eBay and Amazon and do product research to make sure that they're selling well over there. So let's start off with eBay product research. Now the tool that I use for this is called Zeke Analytics. Zeke Analytics is perfect when it comes to identifying products that will perform well specifically on eBay. And I've just logged into my account over here. I'm on the product research section. And what I'm going to do is just type in mailing bags just like that. And then from there, you're gonna see all of these different filters. For example, shipping location, e.g. what is the country that you're gonna be selling to the most? And also eBay site, which eBay domain are you gonna be selling on the most as well? The rest of these filters, I leave it as it is. And then what I do is just click on search. Okay, perfect. And right there, we can see that mailing bags on eBay in the last 30 days was able to bring in over $30,000, which is decent. You know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's a decent amount. And bear in mind that Zeke Analytics is only looking at the data for the first two pages in the search results for the keyword that you typed in. So there's a lot more money that's being spent on mailing bags, but we're able to see what the sellers on the first two pages was able to make. And we're also able to see the successful listing rate, which is 76%. This means that over 70 56% of the sellers that listed mailing bags on their eBay stores was able to generate a sell. So this is a really, really high percentage. And if we want to do product research when it comes to figuring out if it's also selling well on Amazon, the way that we can do that is by using the Helium 10 Google Chrome extension tool. So as you can see, I've just jumped onto Amazon. I've typed in mailing bag over there and there's all of these different sellers. But if I just come over here to the extension tool, click on it just like that, then click on X-Ray Amazon product research. Right there, we can see that over half a million dollars was spent on this product in the last 30 days. Again, it's not the most money that I've seen being spent on Amazon, but it's not the least. And bear in mind that everything I'm showing you now is just an example. You're still going to need to go away and do your own product research to make sure that you found a suitable item for whatever econ business you're trying to build up. But these are the steps that I would personally take when it comes to identifying if a product is performing well on both eBay as as well as Amazon. And when it comes to you doing product research to find items to sell on your Shopify website, there's no actual software out there that I'm aware of. From my experience, if the product is doing well on eBay and Amazon, there's a high likelihood that it's also going to do well if you build an entire website around it. And if you also wanted to go away and do product research to find winning products on Amazon and eBay, and you wanted to use Helium 10 or Zeke Analytics, I've got discount links or trial links in my description down below. But once you've decided on what product you want to sell, the next step after that is that you need to find the best suppliers for that particular product. And there's a certain step-by-step -step method that goes into this entire process. And I'm going to be showing you guys some of the basic things that I look out for. So first things first, what you need to do is register for an Alibaba.com account. You don't need to pay anything. You just need to register, give them all of your details. And then from there, you should be given an account. I don't believe that there's any restrictions in terms of the country that you're living in and all of that. But once you've opened up an account, you then need to come over to the homepage just like this. And whatever item you're thinking about importing, you need to search for it over here just like this. So in this case, I'm going to stick with mailing bags for this example. And then what I'm going to do is just click on search. So I want to point out some of the key things that you need to be aware of when it comes to finding a supplier on Alibaba.com. Now, one of the first things that you need to be aware of is trade assurance. Now, trade assurance, for those of you that's never heard of it before, is a method of sending money to your chosen supplier where Alibaba is essentially going to hold the money in escrow. And until you've received the products, that's the point where they're now going to release the money to the supplier. In my opinion, I would say that this is one of the safest ways when it comes to avoiding getting scammed in terms of transferring money to a supplier that's based in China. And one of the next things that you want to look out for is whether or not the supplier is verified. So you want to select this option over here so it filters out all of the suppliers that are not verified. And when it comes to finding a verified supplier, what that basically means is that an audit company has gone to the supplier's warehouse to make sure that they actually sell the products that they claim to sell. Because it is important for you guys to realize that there is people out there that's tried to use Alibaba and they haven't received the products that they thought they was going to receive because they didn't do the right research when it came to making sure that they was contacting a legitimate supplier. So for you to minimize any risk, it's always good to select this option over here. 
Now, from this point, when it comes to scrolling down on this page, you're going to notice that there's going to be a whole bunch of different products that maybe you're not interested in. And it's going to be your job to scroll through until you find the type of mailing bag that you're looking for. So to give you an example, let's say if I was looking to import this particular mailing bag, because maybe I saw that it was doing really well on eBay and Amazon. The next thing that I'm going to look out for over here is how many years the supplier has been on Alibaba. And as you can see, this one's only been there for one year. And that that isn't good enough for me. I would want a supplier that's been on Alibaba for minimum five, six, seven years because the more years they've been on Alibaba, the less likelihood you're going to have any issues with them. So this supplier over here, I wouldn't realistically use them. I'll keep scrolling until I find another one that meets my criteria. Okay, so there's this supplier over here. They're verified. They've been there for five years. The product looks similar to the one that I may want. So one of the next things that I'll do from this point is click into the actual supplier's profile. And the way that you can do that is by clicking on the product name just like that. Then coming over here to where it says their company name again, just click on it again. And then once I'm on their company profile, just like this, there's a couple things that I'm going to look out for. One of the first things is to see the type of items that they're selling. For me personally, when it comes to finding a supplier in Alibaba, ideally, I want to make sure that they are selling similar items to the one that I'm thinking about importing. This tells me that they're most likely a specialist for the item. And I can see that they mainly sell these type of bags, zip bags and stuff like that. So, so far, so good. One of the next things that I like to look out for is information about their company so on this profile page you're going to be able to see the employees you're going to be able to see their office you're going to be able to see if you're dealing with real people and finally if you come over here to where it says company overview you're going to be able to get a lot more information about the financials of their company so those are just a couple things that I personally do when it comes to finding the best suppliers for the product that I'm thinking about selling now of course there's some other things that goes into the equation for example finding a whole bunch of different suppliers and contacting in all of them and there's an entire step-by-step -step method that goes into this and if you want me to make a full breakdown video on this topic then put in the comments down below do the Alibaba video and I'll get onto it ASAP but once you have found whatever supplier that you want to use you need to also make sure that you do your return on investment calculations before importing the products into your country I would say that this is the biggest mistake that most people make when they first start an econ business they don't do the right return on investment calculations to make sure that they're actually going to make profit it from the products that they're buying from China. Every single time that I imported products, I always made sure to do my return on investment to make sure that I was definitely going to make at least 30 to 40 percent return on investment. Because if I could somewhat guarantee that I was going to get back at least 30 to 40 percent, this is definitely going to put me in a great position when it came to scaling up my business and reinvesting my profits back into it so that I can grow my profits more and more. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification and if you wanted to watch a completely free webinar where I break down my story of exactly how I was able to scale my e-com business from zero dollars in revenue to over three thousand dollars every single day tips and tricks that I didn't really have enough time to explain in this video then make sure you click the first link in the description down below and if you wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made recently where I break down some other things that you need to know about the alibaba.com platform then make sure you click the link right there check that out straight after this one because that video is already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace